don't want to generalize here because I know that everybody does this shit. So it's not a male or female problem. I don't want people listening to this and and, and thinking that we're, yeah. you know, we're, but we're, we, we are men. So we're talking on behalf of men, right? So I think um, in answer to your question, so I think drinking plays a big part. And I think, and this is where I think when you see, when I know, you know, lads and even me personally in the past, when I'm in a bad place, like I definitely almost self-medicate through drinking. Um, so, I mean, an example for me was years ago, I was probably about 10 years ago when I was competing in MMA. Um, and that was basically my identity at the time. So outside of MMA, um, I think it was around the same time I was dating this particular girl that I just mentioned and she was an absolute headache. Um, so that wasn't a, a great relationship, quite toxic. Um, my work, I worked in a job I fucking hated. I had right. no, no passion for it. Stuck in an office, Monday to Friday, nine till five, with no, with no way out that I could see. Like I didn't have any qualifications at the time. I got my PT qualifications like later in life, my degree later in life. At that point in my 20s, I left school with very little qualifications um, because of where I grew up and, and the school I went to wasn't great. Um, so I had no qualifications. I, I found myself in a job I paid quite well and it was like to some a good job, but there was just, there was no purpose to it. I had no purpose. So for me, like shit relationship, shit job, like no, no options to really change that situation. So my outlet was, was martial arts and MMA and my whole identity at that point was wrapped up in that one thing. So outside of martial arts, I was, you know, I said I was a bit of a loser, nice guy, but no real opportunities, poor relationships, drinking too much. Um, when you say drinking too much, yeah. I want to clarify, how much is drinking too much? What would you say drinking too much? Is it like every night? Well, you ask the government and it's more than 14 units a week. Yeah, I mean, I'd fuck a government. Like what we actually like, what, what would you like? Well, th let me finish the story, I guess. So, and, and you'll get your answer. Um, so I was, my identity was wrapped up in what I was doing in martial arts. And then I got injured. So I, I taught, annoyingly wasn't even doing martial arts. I was in the gym doing flies, but I tore my shoulder, tore my rotator cuff, separated my AC joint. Um, and at the time it was the first real injury I'd had. So I tried persevering through it a little bit, it got worse and worse and worse. And then it really dawned on me that this was a proper injury this time. And I wasn't just hurt, I was out, like I couldn't train. It was my shoulder. So it, it basically just debilitated everything that you do in martial arts. Yeah. Um, and as a result, I completely lost my identity and found myself in quite a dark spot and started drinking too much. So in answer to your question, there were two two things that I did. One was I I would drink literally into darkness so when I did drink, I would, I'd have, I'd know my limits. I just drink right through them every single time. So I'd drink way too quick. And then immediately on drinking, I'd get a little bit of a buzz from that. And then I just keep drinking, keep drinking um, until I literally woke up the next day at some point. So I would often drink to a point where I just couldn't remember anything. And often I would still, I was still awake and moving around and interacting with people, but basically just can't remember anything. And Andrew Huberman, did an episode on alcohol and the effects on the brain. And he talks about this a little bit, how some people obviously have like an opiate effect of drinking. And it's quite dangerous because they will continue to drink past a sedative effect into like, you know, blacking out essentially. So I think that's one, uh, one sort of half of drinking too much. It's when you do drink, it's the amount that you drink and where, where it kind of puts you at the end of it. And obviously the frequency is the other. And throughout my twenties, because I didn't like my job, I pretty much, you know, I'd, I'd use martial arts to get me through the week and then at the weekend I'd have a blowout. And I'd quite often go out and drink. And when I did, I'd drink way too much, but I only did it once a week. So I'd make an absolute twat of myself once a week, wake up feeling like an idiot. That's fucking most of the UK though, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yeah, absolutely. Um, and then what I found is when I got injured, that went, that went, that, that went, went from a week, weekend, to like a few nights a week. Right. Um, and yeah, and that, that was like, that was quite a dark period. And that, to some extent, back to the original point, was like self-harming. Yeah. You know what I mean? She was cutting herself. I was drinking myself into a fucking dark hole every every couple of days. So I think, you know, there's, there's different ways to self-harm. I think some people, a lot of guys, it seems, certainly people I know and me in the past do it through drinking. 